There were some really great games written in QBasic back in the day, but I've played them a lot. I sure would like to write some new QBasic games, but after a few months of working with coding LLMs, I don't know how to code anymore. Variables, functions, loops, what's that? I'll tell you what that is. That's for suckers. Suckers that care about stupid things like performance and security. I'll take development speed over that garbage any day, thank you very much. But I searched high and low, and for some strange reason, there doesn't seem to be a single coding assistant plugin for the QBasic IDE. What the heck, Microsoft? You seriously don't support software that's 34 years young? I guess customer support isn't what it used to be. I should have known things would change after you stopped using that cool logo. Whatever. I guess I'll have to do it myself. So that's what I did. I interfaced the QBasic version 1.1 IDE from 1991 with a modern coding LLM for code completions and code generation. And as you might expect, it was really easy. Getting an early 90s IDE running on a Windows 98 machine to interact with a modern coding LLM is really straightforward. All I had to do was locate the source code from a totally reputable source, make a few small modifications, and then I was done. Or something like that. Did you get all that? Good. And if you do want to reference it later, the project page is linked in the video description below. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing so I can make more stupid videos like this in the future. All right, let's take a look at some QBasic vibe coding in action. First, I'll load up the IDE and then open a source file. Now I can put in this vibe marker and after it, I can optionally give instructions to the LLM to tell it exactly what I want it to do. In this case, I'm going to have it write a loop that adds up the elements of the array and then prints out the result. Now I'll select the new menu option, Vibe It. And a few seconds later, we've got some new code and we'll test it out. And we get the correct result. Looks good.